Today we are going to see tissues, the first chapter of anatomy. What is tissue? Group of cells performing similar function constitutes tissue. Types of tissues. There are four types of tissue. Epithelial tissue, connective tissue, muscle tissue and nervous tissue. Epithelial tissue. What is epithelial tissue? It consists of closely aggregated polyhedral cells. Closely aggregated polyhedral cells with little intercellular substance. With little intercellular substance. So these cells are the epithelial cells. So it consists of closely aggregated group, polyhedral, many sided surfaces, cells with little intercellular substance. See the gap between the cells is very less. So the intercellular substance between the cells is very less or it may not be present. Okay, so that is the epithelial tissue. Classification of epithelial tissue. Epithelial cells or epithelial tissue may be classified into covering and lining epithelium and glandular epithelium. What is covering and lining epithelium? Covering means protecting. It is lying on the surface and gives protection. Lining means it is present inside the lumen. Okay, any artery, esophagus, trachea, it contains lumen. So it will be lying in the inner aspect of the lumen. So covering and lining epithelium. Another is glandular epithelium. What is glandular epithelium? They are nothing but glands. Covering and lining epithelium is again divided into two types. Simple epithelium, stratified epithelium. See the diagram here. <coughs> Simple epithelium means it consists of single layer of cells. Stratified epithelium means it contains more than two layers. Two or more than two layers. Multi-layer, that means stratified. Simple epithelium is again divided into simple squamous, simple cuboidal and simple column of epithelium. Simple squamous epithelium. Simple means single layer. Squamous means flat. So simple squamous epithelium consists of a single layer of flat epithelial cells. Where it is present in the body? Example, that is example. Examples are very, very important, so don't make any mistakes. Simple squamous epithelium, it is present in the alveoli of lungs. Number two, it is present in peritoneum, pericardium, and pleura. Pleura is the outer covering of the lungs, pericardium is the outer covering of the heart, peritoneum is the outer covering of the organs present in the abdomen. So, totally these three cells, okay, squamous cells present here is known as mesothelium. And the last one is epithelium lining the blood vessels, otherwise known as endothelium. Simple cuboidal epithelium. What is simple cuboidal epithelium? The cells are, okay, cuboidal in nature, that is the height and the breadth are equal. So, it consists of single layer of cuboidal cells. Example, Follicles of thyroid gland and surface epithelium of the ovary. The surface epithelium of the ovary is otherwise known as germinal epithelium. Okay. Next one is simple columnar epithelium. It consists of single layer of cylindrical or columnar cells. Example, stomach and large intestine. In some places in the body, okay, the simple columnar epithelium on the surface has villi. So, simple columnar epithelium with microvilli, example, small intestine and gallbladder. In some other places, the columnar epithelium has cilia, small hair like projections on its surface, and that is known as simple columnar epithelium with cilia example the respiratory tract uterus uterine tube and central canal of the spinal cord 
Okay. Now stratified epithelium. See, stratified epithelium contains more than two layers. Okay. If the stratified epithelium, okay, if the uppermost layers cells are flat, it is called stratified squamous epithelium. If the superficial most cells are cuboidal, it is called stratified cuboidal epithelium. If the superficial most cells are columnar, it is called stratified columnar epithelium. Okay. Stratified squamous epithelium is divided into two types. One is keratinized and the other one is not keratinized. Stratified sperm is keratinized epithelium. Keratinized means pigmented. So, example, skin and outer surface of the tympanic membrane. Stratified sperm is non-keratinized. It is non-pigmented. So, in dark or light complexion people, this epithelial surface okay, will be same. They, there is no differentiation of pigments. Example, Oral cavity, tongue, pharynx, esophagus, anal canal, vagina. See, this stratified squamous epithelium is present in the rough and tough area wherever there is any damage. Again, it has to recover. So, it is present in that area. Stratified cuboidal epithelium, it is present in seminiferous tubules. It is present in seminiferous tubules and sebaceous glands stratified columnar epithelium it lines the ducts of large glands it is mainly present in the ducts of large glands okay. <coughs> transitional epithelium transitional epithelium What is transitional epithelium? Transitional means altering its shape. So, it goes on changing its shape time to time. So, where this type of epithelium is present? It is present in the urinary bladder, ureter and urethra. So, it is present mainly in the urinary system. So, the transitional epithelium is otherwise known as urothelium. Next one is Pseudo stratified ciliated columnar epithelium. What is pseudo? Pseudo means false. Pseudo means false. Stratified means so it gives an appearance as if it is double layer, more than one layer. So that type of epithelium is known as pseudo stratified. On the surface, it has cilia, that is hair like projections. So pseudo stratified ciliated columnar epithelium. This is present in trachea and primary bronchi. Neuroepithelium. What is neuroepithelium? These cells are specialized in okay, taste. So sensation. So example, cells present in the taste buds. Epithelial cells present in the taste buds. And one more epithelium is the myoepithelium. Myoepithelium, okay, it tells in the contraction, okay, they are present in the sweat gland and mammary gland. Okay. Glandular epithelium or glands. What is gland? Glands are nothing but outgrowth of epithelial tissue. That is the definition. Glands are nothing but outgrowth of epithelial tissue. Or you can put it in other word. Okay. Epithelial tissue, epithelial cells that are specialized in performing the function of secretion constitutes gland. Okay. Classification of glands. Glands may be classified depending upon the way of secretion. Depending upon the way of secretion. So, if the glands contains ducts, okay, it is a one type. If the this absence of duct, it is another type of gland. So, depending upon the way of secretion, is divided into exocrine gland and endocrine gland. Exocrine gland, for example, parotid salivary gland. Endocrine gland, pituitary thyroid. Okay. Depending upon the nature of secretion, so all the glands are secreting some juice or enzymes or hormones. So, if you take that, see the concentration, if it is thin or watery like structure, it is serous type. If it is thick, it is mucus type. 
depending upon the shape of secretion, the glands are divided into tubular, alveolar and acina. What is tubular? The glands will be having tube-like structures. Okay, alveolar means the glands contains round cells. Acina means it contains flask-shaped cells. So depending upon the shape of the cells which are secretion, okay, it is divided into alveolar, tubular and acina. Depending upon the mechanism of secretion, how the secretion is coming out? Okay, it is divided into apocrine, holocrine and mirocrine. Apo means apical portion of the cell, crine means secretion. So in apocrine, the apical portion of the cell okay, comes out as secretion. This is called apocrine. Okay. In holocrine, the entire cell comes out as secretion. It comes out as secretion. Whereas in mirocrine, it is secre the secretion takes place by a process known as exocytosis. That is the cytoplasm will come out of the cell membrane like a droplets and that process is known as exocytosis. Thank you.